All right, everybody, the hammer has come down. The hammer has swung and it has hit. The fact that we are apparently not going to be franchise tagging Geno Smith is now irrelevant because it is no longer a consideration because he is now under contract for the next couple of years minimum with the Seattle Seahawks. The extension has been essentially and effectively made official per Jordan Schultz and many other sources. The extension is a done deal. Three years, $105 million with the ability to earn up to $52 million in the first calendar year, which that doesn't really mean anything for the cap, but point is good for him, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. But uh, yeah, three years, $105 million, that's $35 million a year for those of you keeping track at home. So, is it is it a tiny bit more than I was hoping? I guess. But at the same time, is it less than he probably could have gotten on the open market given what Derek Carr got, given what Daniel Jones is about to get? Yeah, it is. So I can't say nothing against it. This is what a good quarterback costs these days. This is what a flawed quarterback that is capable of doing good things costs these days, to be perfectly honest. And if you don't believe me, just wait until the Daniel Jones extension comes down the pipe. So we've got Geno Smith, three years, $105 million. We're going to have to wait and see how the contract actually breaks out before we really know what's going on here. So hopefully in the coming days, we get some news about the exact breakdown of this deal. So we can see what the cap hit is the first year, second year, the cost of getting out of it before the third year. Because that's obviously going to be a very strong possibility that this ends up being a two-year deal in effect. But um, I'm good with it. I've said a couple times now, my ceiling is 35 mil a year. And we went to the ceiling. And don't get me wrong, I say that knowing that his play on the field, combined with what we're seeing from other quarterbacks on the market, dictates could have been 40, very reasonably could have been 40 million a year. So 35 million a year, it, it's good enough. I'm happy with it. I like it. I'm not throwing a party over it, but I think it's fine. I think it's good. I think he's worth that. And I think that while there are going to be some people who are terrified that last year was a fluke, and that's certainly possible, of course, but but here's the thing to understand. Everything you do as an NFL team is a risk. There is no safe option here. If you think Anthony Richardson, number five overall, is a safe option, you're, you're crazy. You're nuts. No. Trust me. Geno Smith being a good quarterback over the next two years is way more likely than Anthony Richardson realizing his massive potential. Now, the upside of the Anthony Richardson thing is a lot higher than Geno's upside, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's that doesn't necessarily mean you should do it. So, let me know what you guys think. I know we're going to have a lot of heavily heavily emotional takes here in the positive and the negative. Me myself, I'm good with it. I'm not over the moon. I don't think we got a massive steal. But I do think Gino played nice. A little bit. Gino played a little bit nice. I really do. And some people are going to disagree with that. But look, guys, he could play better. Yeah, he had, we, he had a good team around him last year, but he had a terrible defense. There were several games last year where we had no running game because the running backs kept getting hurt. The interior offensive line, other than Damian Lewis, was a joke. Like, the team around Gino can get better, too. And I think that's going to offset a lot of his limitations as a quarterback. But uh, that's a discussion for another video. The discussion for this video is Geno Smith is now going to be the Seahawks quarterback for at least the next two years. We'll see the exact contract breakdown. But the basic skeleton is three years, $35 million a year. And I believe things have become a little more clear at the top of the draft for the Seahawks. So... Happy for Gino, good for Gino, deserves it. Hopefully, he lives up to it. That's what I can say about that. All right, 
See you guys later. Go Hawks. Another video coming later today. But this is the big news of the day. Geno Smith, the day before the franchise tag window closes, signs his extension, makes himself the Seahawks quarterback for the next two or three seasons minimum.